now we shall discuss the d lambert's ratio test by which we can say if a series is convergent or divergent so let us start this first of all we shall take a series like u1 plus u2 plus u3 plus dot 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 un which is the nth term of the series and then we take the nth term un and n plus 1 term that is un plus 1 and by the d'alembert's ratio test we can write like limit n tends to infinity un plus 1 by un and if this is equal to this less than 1 then we can say this is, is convergent and if it is greater than 1 the total value then it is divergent series and if it is equal to 1 then it is there the ratio test fails now we shall take example of a series like 1 by 3 plus 2 square by 3 square plus 3 square by 3 cube plus 4 square by 3 4 to the 4 plus dot 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 the nth term is like n square by 3 to the power n now we take the nth term that is, that is u n equal to n square by 3 to the power n and the u n plus 1 term that is equal to n plus 1 whole square by 3 to the power n plus 1 we we'll putting n plus 1 in the place of n and now by the dl Lambert's ratio test we can write it like limit n tends to infinity u n plus 1 by u n this is equal to limit n tends to infinity we put the value of u n plus 1 this is like this by u n value of u n now we simplified it like limit n tends to infinity and this n plus 1 whole cube whole square sorry by n square into 3 to the power n by 3 to the power n plus 1 and this is equal to limit n tends to infinity dividing the total by n one this is equal to and one by three by simplification. This is simple algebra and then this is equal to putting the value of the limit we can get one plus one by infinity whole square into one by three and this is equal to one plus one by equal to zero into one by three equal to one by three. This is obviously less than one one by three then we can say that the series is convergent from the formula and if the value was greater than 1 then it, it would be divergent and if it would be equal to 1 then the ratio test failed and there we should take the wrap test and we shall discuss about the wrap test on our next video Okay, thank you.